Breaking news, two people are dead after their plane crashed right in front of a house. Good evening, everyone. I'm Ginger Gadsden. And I'm Lisa Bell. At 7, we told you about the crash along Lindy Loop in Port Orange next to the Spruce Creek fly-in. Now at 11, we've learned both people on board have died. Jennifer Ortega is live near the scene tonight. So, Jen, what do we know? Yeah, we learned a couple of hours ago that that plane was possibly coming from Tennessee before it crashed here at this complex. Now, here's what we found out. Emergency crews were called out to Spruce Creek fly in around 6 p.m. This picture shows just how close the plane came from hitting two of those homes. You can see the plane right there in the front yard, just feet away from the front door. The sheriff says the plane stalled in the sky trying to land at Spruce Creek Airport when something went wrong. One witness says they saw the plane fly into the fog, invert, and flat spin when they came back out. And another person says he saw the airplane try to land multiple times and then crash. This plane was coming down too low and fast, so I was like, oh my god, this airplane is going to crash. Went over the trees and I didn't see anything. We just heard a loud boom. Uh, I ran over to go see where the airplane is, uh, but I didn't see it. It's always a concern, but it came down and didn't hit the homes. We may have had some debris, but sometimes it hits them, sometimes it doesn't. This, and this point, it came almost straight in. Again, two people have died in this plane crash. Officials have not released the names or ages of the two, but the sheriff does say that those people could be local residents of the area. In Port Orange, Jennifer Ortega, News 6.